I want to talk about your character, April on Parks and Recreation. You've been, I think it'd be fun to play kind of a mean character. I think that'd be kind of a nice thing to do. Yes, it's very fun. It'd be fun to do, but what's, what happens when you encounter fans? Do fans expect you to be mean? A lot of people that recognize me kind of back away. They don't come towards me. They don't I approach, think, they, they recoil. Yeah, I think because I play, I play characters that are mean. Um, I was in New Orleans recently and a couple, I was standing somewhere on the street and mm -hmm. a couple <laughs> like came up from behind me and they were like, you're her, you're her, say something mean. And I went, leave me alone. <laughs> and then they started laughing. Yeah. And they didn't go away. And they didn't go away because you're and giving them just, what they want. Yeah. yeah. And they just kept laughing and they were like, do it again. And I was like, leave me the f alone. <laughs> <laughs> Parks and Rec, you guys wrapped it up. It must have been very tough saying goodbye to the cast. You know, yeah, I mean, years. I feel like it's been and said to death at this point, but we were all really close and, uh, you know, everyone got each other gifts and stuff. And, um, uh, you know, Aubrey Plaza and I are, are, are very close. We've known each other before the show and um, became really good friends on the show. And she gave me this very nice gift, and I wanted to tell you guys about this gift. So she gave me this, this gift. Is, this is really her this gift. This is a real thing she gave me. Um, she wrote me this nice note, uh, and it said, uh, Aziz, no words can describe how much I care about you, but a pack of my blood and a shard of my hair. I give you a spell for when we're apart, put me somewhere safe, and always keep me in your heart. Love, Aubrey. And she gave me this, and I was like, oh what? my what God, this that? is, that yeah, is... that's pretty awesome. Wait, right? Aubrey was... gave you, this is this yes. is her blood and her hair. Her blood and her hair. I was like, oh this is the greatest, sweetest gift. Like, I was like, this is so, this is so like beautiful, and it's like such an Aubrey gift, and I loved it, right? Yeah. So cut to this weekend, I saw her, and, uh, and, and we were hanging out and uh, somehow this gift came up and my girlfriend was just like, well, Aubrey, like, that's not really your blood, right? And she's like, no. And I was like, what? That's not your blood? What and, is it? And I was like, well, I don't know. It's just like some fucking jelly or something. And then I was like, what's the hair? She's like, that's not my hair. I was like, so what, what is this then? You just gave me trash? Like that's yeah. what this is? This trash, trash in a bottle? You've been carrying that around. <laughs> I've been keeping it in my heart, Conan. <laughs> I get so, so much incredible fan art, uh, mainly Ron Swanson. And they have you, uh, your character, Conan O'Brien, and my character, Ron Swanson, both have a pretty similar hairdo, which in my case, we referred to as the full douche. The full <laughs> I don't know what you, they call it around here. Now we call it the full douche, now that you've, you've just christened it that. Here's, what, here's a drawing someone did. I don't know how you feel about this one. Wow. It's eerily good yeah, it's really and good. disturbing at the same time. What's good? The eyes are incredible on that, it's, by the way. It's really, it's really good. I, I get a lot of, uh, a lot of art that seems to be misshapen at the right. outset. <laughs> but then as you settle into it, you realize it's actually quite, it's a photograph. It's a <laughs> <laughs> you were talking with Rashida Jones oh, not long ago. My uh, beautiful your, wife. Your beautiful wife, uh, lovely co-star, Rashida Jones. And she showed her high school yearbook photo. Mm -hmm. And um, it was it's just it's such a great way to sort of get an insight into what someone was like back in the day. And is so, it is it though? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. All right. Yes, mine, it is. So I have a feeling you're going to show mine. We have one uh, that oh, we found. Boy. We found your and, and I thought maybe you could just tell us a little bit. <laughs> Every day I would walk into school and I would just be like, you're welcome, fellas. Yeah. Boy, I got a lot, and, uh, and I got a lot the... of action in high school. Yeah. You can tell. <laughs> you look at that, hello, and I'm the lead singer for the Go-Go's. Oh, uh, God, I wish, I quite wish. A, quite a storm that morning. <laughs> <laughs> I drove all the way there with the windows Woo! down, get my picture taken. And yes. you're, you're still close, is that right, you and Nick Offerman? We are close, you know, um, we're very close, I mean, we're, but I, there's something that's happened that's sort of, I feel like, tearing us apart, which is sad. Um, for a long time, Nick, Adam, and I would had this pact that if we had a really exceptional poop, we would take a picture of it and send it to one another. <laughs> you know? And, and recently, maybe a year Wait, ago... so th this is something the three Adam, of you... Yeah. Yeah, I know. This is the, the three of you would do this... As, as a way to bond, like a share experience. Just right, just right, yes. You would, you would look at a poop and think, that's an Offerman. 
I'm sending that to Nick. I think it started when I miraculously pooped in an N shape one time. And then I sent it, and I sent it to Nick and I said, hey, it was on Nick's birthday. I said, you guys have the same birthday. And then, uh, <laughs> I hate to get on this topic, but uh, your parks and recreation pal, Chris Pratt, was yeah. here recently, and yeah. he shared with us something that you, he, and Nick Offerman do. Right. Um, do you know where I'm going with this? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> it's a thing the three of you do. You've been doing it for a while, yeah. and it's, um, it's one of the odder things I've ever heard of. Why yeah. don't you tell us what that's all about and what it is? I'd love to, Conan. Um, <laughs> It's, you know, it's just a thing that I don't know. I, I would imagine Offerman started it where the three of us, every once in a while, not every day, not every week, not even every month, just every once in a while, uh, we'll send each other a photo of a particularly memorable uh, movement we've had. <laughs> right? Bowel. Is that, is that, yeah. Yeah, is bowel that, movement. Is that, yeah, is yeah. that landing? <laughs> That's good, right? That's what we do. Yeah. Uh, if you do it, I'm, I, I just okay. heard about okay. it. But if um, you guys have a particularly uh, prodigious or healthy one, you take a picture of it and you share it with each other? Well, it's disgusting. But, you know, the, uh, and, and it's not, it's, we're not, like, tied to, it's, it's a very non-committal thing. But, but, yeah, every once in a while, like, just recently, I think I got one from Nick and it said, Happy President's Day. <laughs> And I think, I think at one point, I may have sent one and just said, hey, how about those Oscar noms? <laughs> <laughs> now it makes sense to me. Yeah, there you go. Now it makes sense to me. Parks and Recreation, one of the funniest shows on television. You guys are doing a great job. Thank so you. So you must Thank be you. thrilled about that. You having a good yeah. time? Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. I am. Um, I love it. Everybody's funny and fun, and, mm -hmm. and it almost feels like you're not working. And I really think at the end of the day, they just want to try to figure out how they can humiliate me on a daily basis. It does. No, just as a casual, as a, as, as a viewer, I, I do notice that it almost seems like they're sitting around thinking, what can we get Rob Lowe to do? <laughs> I know, I when know. will he say no? I, I've done horrific air banjo playing. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just this week sang the worst version of Take Me Out to the Ball Game right. anyone's ever seen. Mm -hmm. And of course, I've done some serious white man dancing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that was, they didn't even ask you to do that. That was just you. It was me trying to be good. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, uh, and then you did something that went viral. Uh, I, I can't remember what it was, but it was, uh, it was like a, it was this very humiliating moment where they just, it, and it suddenly it was everywhere on the computer. Yeah, it, w it was me looking in the mirror at myself and telling myself to stop pooping. Yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, I need to be reminded of that on a daily basis. <laughs> Other people look in the mirror and say, you can do it. Or go get him. That's your mantra every day. It works for me, Conan. All right, I'm happy for you. I'm just curious. Do you like award shows? Like, that's got to be, I don't know if that's something that, that you enjoy. Is that something that you look forward to? No, oh, I love them. I live for them. I, uh, I've been watching the Emmys and the Oscars since I was little. I cry at every single award. Every single award. No, you don't. I do. Well, I, oh, really? Like the technical awards? You're crying? Well, I don't go to those. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I only go to those. <laughs> I know, uh, but every time I watch, I cry every time. Um, I even cried at the, the, la the Emmys that I was at, because Ty Burrell won, he's a friend of mine, and I was, <laughs> I was talking about his dad, and I was oh my God. <laughs> you know, the ugly, yeah. Mm, yeah, I do. It seems like you guys are in sync with each other comedically, probably off camera as well as on. Right? Yeah, it's really a dream job, and sometimes I feel guilty because we like each other so much. Um, and yeah, we often, we like hang out together, we have dinner together, we drink together, we vacation together. Mm -hmm. It's, it's you, kind you of go on vacations together. We have, yeah, we have. Me and, and Amy and Aubrey, we try to do like a girls you, weekend. You, Amy Poehler, Aubrey Plaza, you guys, and what do you do? You get together and you just hang out? Hang out, we drink a couple drinks, uh, you know, <laughs> nightlife, no. We usually sit in the bed, all three of us, and watch TV together. The three of you get together and drink and hang out in bed. <laughs> Amy taught us this game, Mustache TV. Mustache TV. Yeah. How's anybody, that has anybody played that before? No, look, see, people know. Basically, what you do is you take a mustache, you can make one yourself, you can draw it on, which is not good if you're at a hotel, and then you stick it on the TV and you, and you pray like you're at a sporting event that somebody will walk directly into the mustache. <laughs> that a 
that character will just walk into the mustache. Yes, yes. And, it, and it feels like you won or you did something really great when they do. Okay. Can you show us how this works? Yeah. I'm, there's, gonna, there's... I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it on our, yeah, I'm gonna put it on there. Okay. And then I'm gonna get some for all of us. Hold okay, and you just back. go over to that monitor where right. I look sickly. Come uh, back. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna pick random places. This is not staged. And then, yeah, is that gonna ruin our TV? Because that's the only one we can afford. Here. Well, <laughs> you might have to get a new yes, one. Yes, we gotta take care of that TV. So you okay. can just stick these to your television. Yeah, I mean, be careful. If it's not your own television, I would be yeah. careful. Okay, here we go. You're this just is gonna, sticking... oh no, that's, that's maybe a little ambitious. Well, okay. let's see. You could probably paint it in nail <laughs> polish too, something like that. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be challenging. All right, can Let's you see. see that monitor on TV? You can see it? Okay, all right. Can you see it? Well, there's one down here. That's like, <laughs> there's like, there's, okay. there's like a, <laughs> it's like I had a Brazilian, wait, you know? <laughs> what the hell is that all of? Oh, wait, so I, I have to be down here, <laughs> and you have to be, you've got to take this one here. Oh, oh, that's hard. Oh, wait a minute, hold it. Oh, this is primitive. <laughs> The show, right? Easily the this. dumbest show. <laughs> For us, that's really saying okay. something. I want to ask you about a, a picture that I saw that confused me. Uh, you were on the set of Parks and Recreation, and uh, you're with your co-star Amy Poehler, and something's going on. Maybe you can tell us what's happening here. There's oh. a lot of hugging, and then your leg starts to wrap around Amy Poehler, and uh, curious what's going on here. When I hug someone, my legs like instinctively wrap around them. Really? Yeah. When you hug somebody, your leg really does? Uh... Yeah, not everyone, but it's something that's happened since I was a child. My grandfather used to call me like monkey, and for every Christmas he gives me a stuffed monkey, and he's like, you're a monkey, you always wrap your legs around. <laughs> it's just like a monkey reflex thing. <laughs> Ron Swanson, the character, famously, uh, part of his character was he's a meat lover and believed in meat and the, and the power of just meat eating. That's right. When that, did that ever get you special treatment in a restaurant, say? Oh, sure, yeah, no. Uh, for years, um, even to this day, when I'm in a restaurant, I will often, you know, you know you way, the way people will send you over a drink mm -hmm. in a bar? Yeah. People send me over a porterhouse. Like, <laughs> so this is from the... Uh, and you have to hold it up, right? Yeah, thank you. From the gentleman with the, with the briefcase. <laughs> Did this, how was this for your health? Was your doctor okay with all this? It was great for my mood. Mm. Um, <laughs> and my pelt. Yeah. Mm. Uh, was shiny. But, your coat. But, yeah. <laughs> eventually, eventually my doctor said, uh, your, um, your arter artery walls are very thick. <laughs> and that's not great. That's no, not supposed to be great, no. We want to thin them, so. Yeah. Um, so I cut it, you know, I cut down to like 87% red meat diet. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inspiration to a lot of people watching right now. You can do it. If you can get <laughs> down to 87% red meat, you are a proud, proud American.